Hello dear traders, you're watching weekly review of financial markets on Insta TV with me Anna Kasatkina. On Friday, US stocks edged higher but at a moderate pace due to slower employment growth and jobless rates staying still at 4.9%. Despite hawkish remarks of the FOMC's representatives, expectations for an interest rate hike loosened, thus supporting commodity assets and market sentiment before the long weekend in the US. Yesterday, U.S. exchanges were closed because of the Labor Day celebration. The high-tech Nasdaq Composite added 22.69 by the end of Friday's hours and closed at 5,249.90 points. The week rise made up 0.6%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average climbed by 72.66 to 18,491.96 on September 2. Throughout the week, the Dow expanded by 0.5%. The Standard & Poor's 500 advanced by 9.12 to 2,179.98. The S&P 500 grew by same 0.5% over the week. According to the report unveiled on Friday, the U.S. economy generated 151,000 new vacancies, down from forecasts for an increase of 173,000 positions. The unemployment rate of 4.9 percent remained unchanged last month, while analysts had projected a slight drop to 4.8 percent. As for the companies that logged significant changes in their shares, let's consider firearms manufacturer Smith & Wesson. Its shares sank by 6.4% during the Friday session. An upbeat quarterly report revealed earlier failed to encourage investors and the shares closed in the red. Shares of Lululemon Athletica, a yoga-inspired athletic apparel company, slumped by 10.6% on Friday. The company published a weak financial report in the current quarter. The shares slid by 12% last week. And this concludes the weekly review of financial markets prepared for you by InstaTV team. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.